like, oh, I can't believe it. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Hour 2 of The Grim, the Dark Heresy one-shot, where we last left off. Uh, Brother Gaius had just enamored, moved, and delivered a beautiful speech to a group, and it won him a Groxburger of exotic value and use. The rest of the group has cornered, or uh, not really cornered so much as... They've detected that the bodyguard to this yes, man... Yes, we, we scrooted him soundly. Scrooted him. They and we have followed him, followed him into an alley. He's been scrooted. That is where we zoom in. So, Adam, you were describing kind of the order of how you, you guys have the pack of raptors that you are, that you've worked this out. So who, who's leading in here? Uh, I can only assume that uh, that the, uh, the the sister of Scythia is leading the way. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in front, uh, and I'm... As we're approaching them, and Jeff, you were saying like the the people on the street kind of feel the tension and kind of mm -hmm. shut their doors and windows, shutters, you know, in the the, the old west kind of way. Uh, when that when that tension level ratchets up, I'm gonna take the last few quick steps to cut in front of them. So our, our Severus, I think, is following behind me. So maybe we can sort of pincher them, and okay, I'll 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 interpose myself not subtly or sneakily or anything like that just to like so that have to actually like run into me if they kept walking um so that they so they stop in place and it's i think i'm i don't know uh i think i have my sword in my hand i think i feel like that's the right move here okay. uh so yeah i think Steel. i have i have the uh, let's see. You said we could tell that he was a a non-human of some sort. Let me take a look at my gear real quick. Both my chainsword and my monosword have penetration, so uh, I think I'm going to go with the chainsword. So yeah, I think I think that's what we see. Cynthia takes those last couple steps to cut him off, and then brum, holds the chainsword at her side, clearly indicating, uh, you know, come no further. Stop so there. Go for the stealthy approach then at this point. I yeah, that's not my thing. If you guys want yeah. to use stealth, uh, I'm the wrong person for that. So, How's that? <laughs> so I think you guys kind of make you you make it over here then. And before we roll initiative, I, the the man kind of senses that there's he sees the the lift quickness of Sister Scythia and, and just he's he adds the math fairly quickly in his perhaps enhanced mind and and knows that there's not going to be a departure of you know, escaping on foot from this. So he turns and in kind of a almost like Dan's gaming screechy yell voice is like, <laughs> is like, you're not going to take me. It's not going to happen. I'm not like the others. And he, he says, uh, and he like pushes on his bodyguard who still has its back to you. Uh, but alarmingly to you, as he pushes on it, like normally the assumption is that this thing will like move, but it doesn't, it's like, the most immobile thing you've ever seen in your life. It's like a man pushing on the side of a building. It looks that ridiculous, and he just kind of does that. And then the servitor, you can see the hooded head like look down on him. There's a slight hesitation, then it turns. And as it turns, uh, the cloak kind of falls off it. And it is a combat servitor, but it looks to be uh, an incredibly modified combat servitor. So it, you know, it's 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 more dangerous, but still. Just as like a, a warning to you guys, or a, not a warning, but like a calming voice of the emperor, if you will. You guys have dealt with combat servitors before. This is not a scary yeah. moment. For you. It turns around, and then I would have you roll for initiative. All right. So that's one d ten plus your agility modifier. Can we get a glimpse of what sort of weaponry this thing is packing from that distance? It is. It is a modified combat servitor, but it does not seem to have any kind of ranged weaponry on it whatsoever. It's just that. It is very clearly like it's gen. It, it's a uh, vat grown muscles on top of vat grown muscles. It has its right arm used to be like a loading arm, but is now like a power loader claw thing. Cool. Mechanically speaking, it does not do any. In, so for those of you at home and for you guys, mechanically speaking, doesn't do any more damage, but it looks heavily armored. It's very hard to get through. Can I try to calm the, the, the citizen down before guns go a-blazing? Do you have an ability or something like that for that? 
Uh, I can intimidate and interrogate, <laughs> but not much. I, to I often to find when I'm feeling nervous or upset, having a cop shout at me makes me feel much better. Yeah, I'm a, just I'm a man calms of, you right down. Perhaps is can, this the part where you pull I out try? your gun and you yell, "Put up your hands! <laughs> don't move! Put up your hands! Don't move!" But perhaps this is something I would be more suited to, since I've already sort of won the trust of part of the crowd. If they seem scared, maybe I can calm them down a little bit and reassure them that uh, we're going about the emperor's business and that. He will protect mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. So is this a moment where where Arbitrator Severus steps forward to do his copley thing and uh, Brother Gaius says, hold my beer? Is that is that the best? <laughs> I, I, be, uh, I begin to say, halt, citizen. No need for violence or you will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of imperial justice. And then am I interrupted by this this slovenly? Are you, are you doing are you doing that to the combat servitor or to the people behind in the marketplace that are all getting panicky at the? Oh, fact I'll, that I'll handle them. I'll handle them if they get if they get up. I'm, I got, I'm talking I got... to the to the to the nobleman who is losing his shit. I'm trying to. Yeah, I would appreciate if the cop can make the guy hesitate, so I get a free shot on the servitor while they're. <laughs> that, that, that's what I would. Sure. If if he's talking to the nobleman, he could feel free. The nobleman probably wouldn't speak to me uh, unless forced, bearing bearing in mind my appearance and. Well, Odd Musk, one might say. Okay, so here's not here's, only here's, not yeah. only will you be prosecuted, it could result in a seizure of your assets as well. My good man. Oh, hey, wow, yeah, nice, nice. nice. Uh, oh, yes, the the only thing that these snot noses care about. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the scenario: the man is behind the servitor. The servitor is turned to face you before rolling initiative, which would be the beginning of combat. Uh, Brother Gaius wants to try and calm the elite citizen, but we're also recognizing that the crowd behind you. I am more concerned about the crowd watch. behind us. Uh, okay. Bear in mind, I'm already behind the group anyway, because mm -hmm. I sure. take my time wrapping up the conversation. The crowd obviously has heard the revving chainsaw and the shouting, you know, has seen the window shutters slamming shut, is in a potential kind of situation where they may panic and storm in our direction. Oh, yeah. I want to try and calm them down, assure them that everything's going to be fine, okay. and uh, that this heresy will be rooted out without any harm to, harm to their personage and that they don't okay. need to get involved. Well, before we get to that role, uh, yeah, what are the rest of you doing? Are we, are we going to do this in initiative order? Well, that's is what it, I'm asking, if this is pre-initiative, if we're doing non-combat things right now. Is it is it possible for uh, Severus to to intimidate this guy to like make him hesitate or is that is that not on the table i apply my player philosophy which is like we'll let the dice roll if you if this fucker rolls a one then yes but <laughs> okay. this guy believes the combat servitor is his best chance of getting out of here alive so i ahead, i think well, Cynthia's plan is to is to blindside this thing as as quickly as she can and if if the cop can like make them hesitate uh, to give an initiative bonus or anything like that would be awesome. Uh, I'll see so. how he rolls. I'll, I'll take it into consideration, but the combat servitor is not really, it, it just has a job. It's not really. Yeah, you can't intimidate that servitor, yeah. obviously. Well, you can. he can deactivate it, which is what I'm going to shout at him right. to yeah. do in a moment. I'm hoping to get him to turn off the robo definition. Yeah, I'm the same way. Okay, yeah. well, let's do it. Make those yeah, rolls. Yeah, yeah. So we'll wait on John, but do, uh, do your intimidation roll, Reese. Uh, uh, any modifiers? Yeah, I'm going to give you a minus 20. I think this is so negative negative two zero. Yeah, I have that back here. Yeah, you rolled a. F so you fail. Yeah, no. you fail. That's okay. Good try. Good try. And then Adam, <sighs> you want to try what? Um, I just want to c command him. I basically like I take out my loud hailer, my little servo skull, and through it I begin just like shouting commands at him to deactivate his uh, obviously oh. malfunctioning servitor, like. What are you doing? Like you're going to be responsible. You're held. We'll hold you responsible for any harm that comes to imperial property. You're speaking exactly. through the servitor, Adam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay. it makes right. me loud as hell. Uh, Adam, I also have command. command. This guy is. Okay, he's. There's been people getting abducted here. That's why he brought a combat servitor. Yeah, and I'm telling him. I'm telling him, chill your shit, man. We're on <laughs> your side. Unless you don't turn it off, then we're on our side, and you'll yeah. probably get your butt kicked. Yeah, I I am trained in command as well. I would like to help you by uh, yes. what I've already done <laughs> by standing near the dude yeah. with a chain sword. Um, um, yeah, yeah. Do do what he says is is what my body language is saying. Do I get any modifier for my loud hailer? Um, it looks like you're getting help, so I'll give you a. It's now a minus ten. Okay, well I get ten from John. Do I get any more for using the hailer, like for being explicit, like explicitly like loud, or is that not going to help? I think not. No. 
Uh, all right. Um, but I can, if I want to, uh, I can spend a, a fate point to re-roll. Um, so I think I might. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna spend it to automatically succeed at a charm command or intimidate skill test. Oh shit. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use my <laughs> fate point, and uh, I succeed with a, a three. Um, like uh, degrees of success. Degrees of success. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, so I, I start. I start shouting into the into the speaker like, "Deactivate your servitor or be punished." And if he doesn't do it, uh, then I, I just like I turn on I'm being serious mode and uh, yeah, and just like shout at him with the voice of all of my highborn authority. Jeff is regretting <laughs> reminding us about fight points at this <laughs> juncture. <I think. laughs> uh, you know what? Go ahead and make your roll too, John, before I kind of describe what that effect is going to be then. Wait, sorry, which John are we talking to here? Total Biscuit. All right, we'll just we'll, I just use TB or Gaius, I guess, for the future, because sure. we're going to get very confused here, aren't we? Yeah. I'm All right. So, uh, yeah, and I'm rolling basically to calm the crowd down, which I guess would probably be charm. Sure. What kind of modifier we're looking at on that? Bear in mind, I've already kind of won their trust. One would oh, think. Yeah. I'll give you a plus twenty. Okay. Sounds good. The so target modifier for charm roll plus twenty. Assuming this is working the way it's supposed to. Why does it keep giving me target zero? I, I think you're putting plus in and you just put 20 instead. Oh, yeah, do you? Without, okay, without right. the plus yeah. symbol. Yeah. All right, let me, let me try Dale, that again what's then. Your, what's your charm? Uh, well, I have, I have charm trained to level two. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think it's not counting that because you're, the plus symbol screwed it up. Right, okay, so. I'm going to take the plus symbol out and do it then. Did that there work? Hey, <laughs> that's oh, much better. All <laughs> five yeah. success okay. levels. That's a lot That's of the success good. levels, I would say. Yeah. You are like, uh, at, at this point, I'm good. leading them in a line dance, I yeah. believe. Uh, absolutely. As we all uh, put our arms in the air and praise the emperor. Yes, indeed. Do the dosi -si do. The emperor approves of the dosi -si do. To give you an idea of how ridiculous this is, like a combat servitor that's you know almost eight feet tall turns around, and uh, Gaius is like, "No, no, no." We're all good. Everything's fine. And they and it goes so quickly to you. They're like, oh, oh my. Yes, <laughs> thank you. Uh, and it's just like just a calm feeling amongst the crowd, which isn't real. That never fucking happens unless you get five degrees of success in calm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One should not underestimate 110 years of service to the emperor, <laughs> good sir. They was it 120? I can't yeah, quite recall. You, they, they're about to go to sleep. They are so chill right now. They're so happy. It's wonderful. Um, I think with the automatic three degrees of success pass on the combat servitor, I'm going to give you guys... So here's how it manifests. I'm going to give you a round of surprise, because again, I, unless you like had seven degrees of success, I nice. wasn't going to give you no combat here, because this guy's so about to be abducted by this terrible group. So what's so what's happened here is that a member of the Highborn and the Inquisition has given him a direct command not to turn off his... or to turn off his servitor, and he isn't doing it. I'm not saying I don't believe you. I'm just saying he's going to be very partially punished for this. He does later. not think you guys are members of the Inquisition. Good. I don't... Nice. I mean, the law does not care what he thinks. Yeah, well, Ooh, we, we, well we don't have a seal. You know, they... It seal. doesn't really matter. It's yeah, it, it would be so Adam, it would be like someone right now coming into a group of us and being like, hey, we're from the men in black. Everyone stop. And it would be like, yeah, you're from that minute. Yeah, the men in black. OK, you know, like, no, that's that doesn't mean anything to people until you prove that you are. Right. The but, but it, is very I mean, rare. we can't. Yes, but but we don't. It doesn't I mean, it doesn't really matter. Right. There's still he's still not doing what he's told. And we do have that authority. Oh, uh, yeah. yes. We, we yeah, will yeah. be righteous when we punish him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, exactly. It's all for sure. yeah I'm not expecting him to do it now. I'm just saying that later there'll be consequences for. Yeah. Him. Okay. Oh, yeah. sure. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean. And and Severus is an arbitas, which is a, a sanctioned uh, municipal wing of, of local government. So like I'm above the municipal wing of the government. The only person I answer to is the judge of my fortress precinct. Yeah, let's go. So let's go. This, this dude guy. is dead, no matter what. I mean, of course, the, the purses yeah. of the spire dwelling snot noses. So I've heard, but that's by the by. Severus notice he notices your lack of conviction. <laughs> and he's also professionally jealous of the fact that you wooed the crowd and I did not. <laughs> so the way this mechanically works then is we're not going to roll for an issue. You get you guys get one round of combat because you this 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 servitor or not servitor excuse me the servo skull is like moving around it spouting stop stop turn off your combat servitor and he's like 
questioning it for a second, and the combat servitor is still looking at him for for guidance on what to do. Yeah. So, uh, you have element of surprise if you want to take that, or you could press if you believe that's your best option to try and tell this guy to, to stand no, down. It's fine. If he wants to be a guilty bastard, then it's all good. I'm definitely attacking. If you got, you guys can do whatever you do want it. to do. But when, as soon as he hesitates, Scythia chain swords the servitor. I'm going to use face. my turn to inspire everybody. <laughs> hey. I'm going to be super inspiring. He's getting that, some buckshot for the emperor. There's no. Are we, uh, are we rolling initiative? Yeah. Uh, no, because this is uh, this. We get a surprise, surprise round. Oh, so it doesn't matter round. the order we do ours in. Well, then can I go so first? Because if I inspire, inspire first? yeah, if I inspire, yeah. everybody gets a, a plus ten. Sweet. All right. Um, good. So it's a no modifier uh, command test. Got it. Four nice. degrees of success. So um, everybody, everyone on my in my group gets a plus ten to their next roll. You also already get a plus thirty because it is surprised. Yeah. So there you go. All right. So plus, plus 40. fifty. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah. It's thirty and then ten from Adam, right? So forty yeah, total. Forty total. Forty. Excuse me. All right. We should probably uh, yeah, get around I'm, to hacking this thing into pieces before it's nothing it decides complicated. That it wants to fight back. Yeah, as soon as it, 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 even before he he hesitates, Scythia's got the sword going, and she she winds up, and then when she sees the thing, like instead of turning to face her, it looks at her its commander to see what's going on. She's just like, Gah! and she leaps <laughs> in the air and chain swords the thing. Uh, this should do it correctly if I've got it set up properly. Ah, oh, combat system. Yeah, let's see yeah. if this works. You rolled a twenty three. Oh no, for so, yours. That was that was me. Yeah, but, I'm very. Uh, I can do that. And my attack type, I have standard. And my modifier is thirty or forty. It's forty. Forty. Oh, yeah. Holy shit! All right, here we go. Open ten. There you go. Uh, four degrees of success. Okay, so and then roll your damage. We'll just my see. damage. Yep. Straight up. Here we go chain sword. Uh, nineteen with two and penetration. Hit, and when when you hit, it's the inverse of the damage, right? Where, so where location? Yeah, yeah. Not, so I hit ninety-one. That's, That's my, the left leg. Left leg. Oh, not the right leg. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, well, right. That's, well, this is over. Dark <laughs> Towers. It it's meaningless at this it point. Close. The Empress Tower hey. has been cast. It spells two. <laughs> so you do nineteen damage. Uh, penetration two. Right. Does rending have any effect as well? Sorry. Rending? Does Rend have any effect? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, I is need it, to roll... Is it the inverse of the... Okay, you figure this out. I'm going to look at hit locations. It might, I you have might, to roll might another damage die. Hang on, because I get the best of my two damage dice. One second. How many Ten. players does it take to make one? Okay, yeah, so it's it's the same. It's still 19. Okay. Uh, and it is left leg. You look that part up, Adam? Left leg, penetration two. Uh, if it's damage, yeah. I'm doubling checking if it's the damage roll or the to hit roll. Uh, that indicates because it's the head otherwise. So it's this is a difference. Is it to hit? It's the inverse of the hit, yeah. Pretty sure. Oh, it's then it's head. Cool. Yeah, then you hit him in the head, not the leg. So you hit him in the head. You do? Did you do two d10 damage? Oh, is that what it was? Uh, no, the chain sword does one d10 plus five, but I roll two damage dice and take the higher. That's why mm -hmm. there was a. Oh, up. okay. Yeah. Plus. So yes, nineteen penetration two to the head is a. That's a different story. Well, what I'm trying to get at is, did you crit? How'd you roll a nineteen? How'd you get nineteen damage? Uh, I do, let's see, I have yeah, plus five. Yeah, the you shouldn't be able to do that much. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. One D10 plus two. It's adding, yeah. it's adding five twice. Um, I don't know so why. It's, it's one, D, it's one it D10 wrong. plus five. Yeah, I don't know why. Okay, so the, the roll's 14. Um, yeah. Yeah. So you fine. did nine plus five. Yeah, apparently. I don't know why it's adding it twice. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. So it's four, uh, yeah, fourteen penetration two to the head. Penetration two. Okay, its head armor is eight because this is the elite combat servitor, uh, and its toughness modifier is four. So you did seven points of damage to it. Oh, but it's adding my strength bonus. That's what that yes. other five is. Ah, ah, what you do with with melee? I do it with melee. Yes. Yep. So it but is it nineteen. Is we got there, everybody. We figured it out. <laughs> Dark uh, Pierce of Combat, fuck you. Minus 12, so you use 7 points of damage to it. So you just bury your chain sword into its head. And this is not a little effect to it. it it's a, it's it, the teeth grab and it starts to saw in a little bit. And, you know, this all happens at the same time, but it turns and snaps and recognizes you as a threat. But this is significant yeah. damage. 
Um, someone could tell me if it was a crit, but I don't think it was. So if it's not a crit, then we're done with you, so we can go to the next person doing damage. That'd probably be uh, me, because I don't think uh, Friar Tuck is much of the combat-oriented individual. Oh, well, I, I have an exceptional sniper rifle, but as you're well aware, I'm <laughs> far too busy with the crowd over there. I really shouldn't be taking part in this ra this one round at all, because I've been busy deal keeping this crowd under control. You know, maybe I'd draw my sniper rifle, but I certainly wouldn't be fighting right now. Your lack of prosecution of the Emperor's laws has been noted. I will take away turns if you guys take too long to attack. You gotta... <laughs> <laughs> it's just a surprise round. Just, just use real combat. Use your attack. Yeah, crit's only on a 10. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, don't forget you get the extra uh, 40 to whatever attack roll you make, um, Severus. Mm -hmm. um, and should I do half aim, no aim, full aim? Is it relevant? It, but yeah, I mean... The kind of attack that you do is, is relevant, yeah. <laughs> How long does it take to aim? Is it like a, uh, like a partial action? Is it... But since we have a surprise round, you can half aim and attack. There you go. Okay. Oh, this should be good. Point is it uh, the range point blank? I don't know. Is it? Did you move up close to it to go for point blank? No, nah, I'll say it's standard range. Okay. And then we have plus forty. Holy smokes! And you can yeah. roll yours up too, Tobias. Here right now, if you if you're attacking. Yeah, uh, I, I, I'd certainly be last on the initiative, bearing in mind my There's position. There's no initiative. But, it's, it's all, right, well, I'd, all right, well, I have my sniper rifle in hand. Yeah. I assume I have line of sight on this thing for my position. Yep, it's uh, eight feet tall. So I, I look like I had three degrees of success there, buddy. Okay, so then roll your damage. Nice. I wish it told me on this. Uh, I guess I could hover over it and see. It what does. You, you hover. It's ten. Yeah, uh, yeah. You yeah, rolled a six and work. got a four. Okay. Uh, your shot, which would have hit. What is it? So a ninety-six. 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 That one's the left leg. That is the left leg. That is the left Aha! leg. Take that. Your penetration. Close it literally bounces off its thigh. Just bink. No damage whatsoever. What? Oof. Heavily armored indeed. Yeah, you did 10 damage, and it's got a toughness of 4 and armor of 8 on its left leg. Holy shit. Well, we need more chainswords to the head. Yeah, oh. a sniper rifle might penetrate. Oh, we've got decent penetration on this. I could take a uh, half aim and then take a shot. I like how you go immediately from being like, everything's fine, everyone. The Emperor's great. Excuse me a second. Blow! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have, but Jeff is insisting that I fight. So I have, I have... to take a shot. Excuse I'm not, me. I'm just saying. You were saying initiative. There's no initiative. This is what the Emperor wants, really. I mean, I, I like uh, the idea of you calming a crowd than firing a sniper rifle. I think that's incredible. Seems like a good idea. Yeah. Uh, so I'd probably take half an action to aim, and then I'd take my shot. Yep. Plus Get 40. Plus, plus 40, plus whatever the aim bonus is. Yeah, uh, range. I guess I'm just talking about standard. Rifles. It is. Yeah, I've got 200 meter range with this thing. Do I count as being in short range? Where are we position wise? How far away am I? Um, I we're not being super strict on this, so I'm not going to fight you on it. Like, you know, the crowd is 20 feet away, type of thing. Whatever. Okay. Well, I, with a sniper, I'm relatively short, short, short range. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rate of fire, standard. Yes. And I guess I don't put a modifier on it. Um, you do. You get 40. 40. Plus 40. Plus it's 40, yes. yeah, it's, Okay. Or, yes. But just put 40, because otherwise yeah. it'll... Yeah, it's just... Uh, okay. I did that roll work. Wow, nothing happened. Great. There. Cool. <laughs> I put all that data in and nothing happened. All right, let, let me try that again. Sorry, I haven't used this client in like two years. It it might half aim. Uh, short range. Standard attack. 40 modifier. Submit. Do I? So I, I I clicked hit and put all that information in. Do I then have to click something else? Just Enter. submit. Uh, I did, yeah, you, and it didn't do anything. It. No. Uh, that's okay. Just go slash r space uh, d100. Okay. Uh, and then that's it because you don't modify okay. the roll. We just modify the difficulty. Yeah, you can just roll a d100. And your two hit yeah. is your ballistic skill um, plus all the other uh, shit that we plus use. fifty with all the different. It's not. Players. It's not even letting me do that. As my oh, you, you may need to help. refresh. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, you may be logged. Yeah, it, it's it's claiming uh, my thing's timing out. All right, I'll be I'll try and rejoin. Apologies, guys. No, you're fine, man. 
You can right. go ahead and attack at him while he's I'm just doing having it. the servitor yeah. squeeze off. I'm not, I'm not attacking. My full action is oh. inspiring all y'all. Ah, okay, cool. Yeah, right. that was well, quite hopefully inspiring. Look. Holy shit. That's a cool ability, Adam. You get to uh, buff. You're like the bard of the group. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah, that's exactly how I built him. Yeah, it's a it's a byproduct of command. <laughs> Holy fuck! Oh, wow! Oh, what? oh! oh. <laughs> Okay. A five? A five out of 128. That's uh, okay. 12, 12 <laughs> levels. That is, that is the usual reaction that occurs um, when I first display God. the rod of the emperor to those who have not oh, seen its no. glory before. I thought yeah. it was cool on your back, but when I've seen it in action, really, what then... Do do? What do you do with that many degrees uh, of success? What does that even uh, mean? I, uh, quite a lot. I also, by the way, have Death Dealer. He's just funny. to make things a little bit more amusing. Uh, which, let's see... <laughs> It's on a what a hundred and page hundred and seventy, because <laughs> uh, that's where I add degrees of success, I believe. To yes, I believe yeah. you do. Uh, <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> Uh, I mean, I've got to assume we may, uh, that may have actually just been Exterminatus right there, but it might. Well, you also hit it in the head. Uh, yeah, you hit so, it in the head. Which seems well, like a good place to hit it. Yes. The sniper rifle, yes. I concur. I concur. Yeah, so death, yeah, death Dealer's on 122. Death Dealer. Uh, wait a minute. Wait, there he is. Uh, add perception bonus to damage inflicted in combat. All right, so I would add three to the damage that I'm about to do to this thing. Yeah, but what do you do um, towards damage? Your gun is also accurate. It uh, is, yeah. Which I believe does a bunch more other shit. Uh, it gives you, oh, an additional bonus to your ballistic skill. So that's another level of, uh, of success. Yeah. Um, and when you're benefiting from the aim action, it deals an additional 1d10 damage for every two degrees of success beyond the first. Lovely. Uh, <laughs> also, also you, can, you can replace your damage roll with your number of degrees of success. Uh, that's, cool. that's just a thing you can do. Yeah. So. Can you do 10 degrees of success? So cool. roll, so, so TB roll, roll two d ten, because that's yep, the maximum. Okay. So roll two d ten. Sure. Yep. Roll two d ten. Yep. Okay. So you deal eleven damage plus the twelve degrees of success. You deal twenty, what twenty three? No, yeah, you, plus, you you no, you can do the degrees of success instead of your roll. Yeah, yeah, but this the this is the this isn't the damage roll. This is the accuracy on the gun. Give oh, oh, sorry, bonus sorry. damage. Yeah. That's different. Yeah, no. So it's yeah, twenty. Okay. Yeah, twenty three damage. 23. Um, um, am I also adding th three for Death Dealer to that? Yes. Yes. 26. 26 damage. Uh, bear in mind, I do have penetration on that gun. No, I think stop. He's dead. <laughs> Is he dead? Okay. He's already dead. Uh, like so, yeah. <laughs> so literally, uh, Brother Guys, if you could describe for us what it looks like when you notice that there's a moment of peril, so you whip out the Rod of the Emperor. You could describe And you... Take liberty, you shoot him in the head. His head disintegrates at such a furious rate that, like, the wind tunnel created by this shot knocks the guy back as well. Look, I, I, I cut with a hole your in the armor for you, and I, I want a little credit for that. Just, <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm yeah. Just... <laughs> so go no, ahead. A, does it look well, like? Well, I would imagine for a moment, a wave of calm but slightly awe inspired silence fell over the crowd that I had been recently leading in joyous dancing worship to the emperor i turn my head slightly towards them soak it in for a moment <laughs> nod slightly and uh draw from my belt a small flask of amasek uh taking a a brief swig okay the the servitor is gone its head it, its head and most of its upper body is just so it's just fine mist of anything you know decayed flesh wiring stuff gone it drops to its knee and collapses forward uh your chain sword obviously is free now as it's entrenched in absolutely nothing it's whatever it was entrenched and is gone the man behind uh is just like looking down at it and then it's it's a really bizarre scene because it's it had a servitor skull uh servo skull rotating around it yelling at him there is a strangely calm crowd that seems even more calm now that the <laughs> The altercation has come to pass, and he's just, he looks completely defeated, and he's just kind of standing there looking down at it. He's not running, he's not doing anything, he's done. And now the cop beats him to death. Get him, buddy! <laughs> it's your no, favorite. Severus type of calmly victim. walks up and says, Welcome to the Emperor's Justice, slaps my manacles on him, and uh, takes him into custody. Can we knock out a couple of his teeth first? Sure. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> 
You put I'll the, give him he, the butt of my shotgun right in the mouth. Okay, well that makes it even weirder because he's not fighting at all. So you just he just drops down and it's like he's a, a bout of blood comes out of him. This is a a willing uh, captive, so you got a free attack on him. It just <laughs> drops him. Um, you handcuff him. He's like muttering to himself and looking fearful. But there's actually you notice uh, he's actually even he's relieved almost when you put the manacles on him and he just. Uh, it's 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 as if you have like given him the best news ever, and he just is, he like starts to chuckle a little bit even through the mess of his teeth and the bloodied gums, and is like you're not them, you're not them. Okay, it's fine. Can I use my intimidate skill on or my interrogate skill on him at this point, sure. or should we take him somewhere else? Time's of the essence, so I would rather interrogate him. Kick in a local door, drag him in, and then interrogate him on the spot. I'd almost suggest you experiment with just uh, just asking him questions. Uh, <laughs> what? He, I'm trying to give you all the signs possible that he is not. Oh, yeah, I mean, the the thing the thing is, like, I think as players, we're all aware he wants to cooperate, but we're also members of like the space Nazis. So like, <laughs> <laughs> like hurting him for no good reason is very much what we do. Sure. So yes, like he'll give I, us, I he'll give us the information that we need. Character to kick in some local merchant's door, shoo yeah. them out, then interrogate the shit out yeah. of this guy. Sure, sure. You, you, uh, so you pick him up and, uh, you know what? I'm going to have you, I'm going to literally, do you not discriminate which door you kick in, uh, Severus? <laughs> no, it doesn't matter. The one to my right. Then I'll tell you what, you roll a D100, the higher the number, the more bad it is. <laughs> In various You're ways. You're fucking with the GM's plans, and this is your punishment. Get <laughs> ready. D100. <laughs> 71. Uh -oh. <laughs> All right, yeah, you you, uh, you kick open a door, and uh, this could be a moment for Severus, because inside that door is three what look to be ruffians well you know uh and they were just counting money one of them is sorting through what looks to be a an illegal stack of uh eo sticks and and the other guy just has a gun on the table and they look they're looking at you like what the fuck and the table is a carnifex a live <laughs> <breathing Carnifex. laughs> well, yeah yeah we walk in on the time to deliver the carnifex and a wraith lord having <laughs> sex weird uh, kicked open a door <laughs> You're witness to happen. Severus, what do you do? It's time to administer the Emperor's justice, Jeff. Shock him <laughs> out. More crime. Crime everywhere. Now, <laughs> you are holding, uh, you've got this guy in manacles next to you. and He'd make a great human shield. Okay. We need information out of him. <laughs> as Fun. much as I would love to see the spire-dwelling gelded snot nose bleed amongst <laughs> the rest of them, we do need him at this point. One would think that me, of all people, wouldn't have to point this out to a professional of the law such as yourself. I'm suffering severe envy from the Emperor's staff. The and, rod uh, of the I'm Emperor. Get it right. <laughs> I understand it. The a view of the rod of the emperor has been known to uh, cause temporary amnesia. But regardless of that, please address it by its proper title. They are surprised. So you guys can have this moment of talking, but it is three criminals that an Arbitaz just kicked the door in. From their perspective, this is about them. So they're going to pick up guns and start shooting at you in, in a second. I, I'll definitely step in with you so you're not just like by yourself. I'll step in with the chainsaw, chain sword going um toss my cloak down i've got i've got like sweet tattoos of the emperor like like the 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 sacred heart style like uh on my on my arms and i toss it down i'm like this is imperial business get out of here or die that sounds like you're trying to intimidate them right i i think i think that's what that's what Ar the arbitas is trying to do and i'm, I'm backing him up okay on, uh, so you're on gonna help one. on an intimidation roll so severus yeah. Can I can I boost his role? Kicking no, in the door was pretty intimidating. I, I think I think you're gonna make the role because you're you're the cop here. I'm just I'm oh, just you're your backup. Me? Yep. Yeah, Absolutely. I'm gonna boost you. Yeah. Yeah. So this I'm like is, stand down, citizens. I'm not here for you. And where is my role? There it is. Yeah, put him in those ISO cubes. Right in the ISO cube. Oh, they're not Oof. intimidated. I think. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs> so you're like, you're like, stand down, citizens. I'm not here for. 
you get that far and they just start ripping out uh, <laughs> hand cannons. They just they have little hand they have hand they're not little, they have hand cannons. Um and we roll for initiative. So this is a true initiative that you, you lose surprise <laughs> now is, is gonna be the consequence of that. So nice. uh, one D ten plus your agility. All right. And I'll keep track of it over here. I'll roll for theirs too, I guess, actually. Okay. It's just three little crooks. What? God. Is it your is it your agility? Just it's three. not your agility. It's not your total agility. It's your it's your bonus. bonus I, I, Otherwise, yeah. it'd be a very good roll. Yeah, so yours yeah. yours is uh, yours is eight. An eight. Dang. Fucking. Uh, yeah, John, yeah. you rolled you rolled a d zero. I did. I got a. I got a. I don't know how you roll a dice with no sides. <laughs> <laughs> I have I have special powers. That that, that sounds extra heretical. heretical. And then Actually, okay, and now God and now it. now you just said one d ten plus three. Look, look it's, it's a it's <laughs> a three. You so Sanchez is the kind of guy that would roll a D zero. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, and I'll roll theirs real quick. I both never go and always go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Road to the valley on a dice with no sides. <laughs> uh, three. Oh God! <laughs> it starts. Uh, thirteen. Oh, here we go. Here we Brooks. go. And then what did you guys get? We got an 8, a 13 from Brother Gaius. Uh, yeah. Indeed. Yeah, I got a 10. 11 from Reese. Well, Severus. We, we, I was at 8 for Severus. Oh, okay, 8. And then 8 for Scythia, or Scythia. And what do we got for... A 10. Okay. All right. Well, Ty is always going to go to my lovely crew here. So uh, you're gonna you owe us a lot of role playing, Mister Total Biscuit, because uh, somehow this door gets kicked in, uh, <laughs> and there's three crooks there reaching for their guns. Uh, but you're the first to react. Uh, back in the group, <laughs> tugging or tucking away your finally fired Emperor's rod, and with a calm crowd of basically acolytes at your feet right now, what do you do? Because in theory, I shouldn't even be able to see these people from here. Yeah, they're in a they're building, in building that we, we have not entered this building. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. So just move, then shoot. So half your action could be to move. And we established that they're 20-ish feet away. So you definitely can, I believe you can move to an angle. I, and take yeah, I think that's semi-believable. You could get into line with the doorway or something, probably. I, get, I, I guess that would have to be the case, because otherwise this doesn't make any sense at all. Uh, <laughs> so I still have the rifle out, one assumes. Sure. Yep. Uh, I take the half action to move so I can actually see what I'm supposed to be shooting at. Okay. Um, they were behind a, a, a table, strategy. and I'm going to say that this is a fairly complicated shot, but um, we're going to call it... It's going to be difficult for this first one. Well, it's a good job that I happen to have a particular talent that might be useful in such a situation. <laughs> you know what? No, it's just it's just challenging, actually. Difficult doesn't describe it, I don't think. Challenging. Challenging. It's just plus zero. Plus or minus zero. So. Yeah, that's okay. Zero. Fair enough, because I do have this uh, nowhere-to-hide talent, which I believe would add degrees of success to shooting through cover, I think? I don't know. Just roll your which... two or whatever and just blow this guy into oblivion. <laughs> <laughs> You, you, you do no, seem you to only, be. You only made it like seventy-five minutes before that that fatigue sets in, and you're just yeah. like, "Fuck, fuck <laughs> this! Fuck role-playing yeah. games! I can't I win! Think, I hate I these people!" I think we count this as a victory. We, That's it. Just, it's Jeff over. Just lost right there. Just, yeah. <laughs> Ten degrees of success, you guys, on a D100. What but I think it's everyone. Everyone who has ever GM before in the history of time knows what it feels like to use that voice. That like, you know what? Fuck it. Whatever. Do whatever you want. You're gonna win anyway. <laughs> It's even better. So, it's even okay. better. I don't take aim uh, with short range, standard <laughs> attack. Yep. And you said it's a, what, a, a, a any plus minus, minus or plus eight. modifier? Nope. Just a eight. regular shot. Okay, yep. sure. No problem. Sounds fine to me. Uh, Looks something like that. Oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Well, it's only seven degrees of success. I mean, it's not like 10. Uh, so. 
Well, roll your damage. I don't think there's a way this guy's not dead, but yeah, yeah. yeah. You didn't, you didn't yeah. aim this time. You didn't it aim should, this time, so you don't. Get yeah, the... it should be noted that uh, nowhere to hide adds the degrees of success when the attack to reduce the armor value of the cover. So I assume that table is no longer a table at this point, more of a, a little sort of temporary art piece. <laughs> you hit him. You hit him in his left leg. Of course, because of course we do. It's the only place we shoot people. Okay, rolling damage. Nice. Oh, you have you have pen anyways. So do yes. you uh, a table and shit. I think still avoid penetration though. If, if I'm not, if I'm not wrong, right? What's that? So. Oh, yeah. Penetration avoids armor, I believe, but not toughness. Or does it go through toughness as well? Oh, no, it doesn't. Yeah, if 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 they have a toughness of uh, whatever, it's six or because it's your body. The penetration just ignores the armor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then the hit is 81. So where's that? So I guess Left, that leg. <laughs> Left leg. Left leg. Cool. Um, Left leg. It's not a crit, though. You didn't roll on damage. You rolled uh, seven. So no crit. Yeah. Um, this guy, it's, uh, you know, he has just a couple more points of life basically, but you do obliterate the table. You hit him in the left leg. It's not a crit, but uh, I'm a role play fanatic. So it's like, he's not going to be running tomorrow. He's not going to go for his scheduled jog. He's just obliterated on the ground, um, but he's alive. He's still hanging on. It's a very, very large uh, hole in the leg. You know, it's just sort of a little string of muscle. Huh? Success though. I feel like that should do something more here. Right. Or does it not? Is that not degrees, the degrees? You can, like we were saying before, the degrees of success in this case, you could have chosen, you can choose to use them instead of your damage, but you got better damage anyway. No, so I'm not going to do that. Oh, okay. Interesting. Because your your average damage is uh, nine. So if you if you have yeah. more than nine degrees of success, you might as well yeah. use that. It also, uh, <laughs> when dealing with an accurate weapon where, that I used aim with, it would have dealt extra damage, but I didn't aim. Didn't. I used half an action <laughs> to move and then took a shot with the other half. So aim isn't in play here. Yeah. Okay. So the rather rotund Gaius gets off the, the crate away from the crowd who is just, they're like wooing and wanting a couple delicate hands reach out to grab just the faintest bit of your fabric as you run away. Uh, you get to a proper position, fire at a crazy angle through the doorway, hit the table that they are just flipping over to, to provide cover for. Table shatters into a million pieces. They're no longer going to have any cover. They're just in this room. Uh, and you just nail a guy right mid-leg and it just fucking... There goes the bottom of his leg. It's gone into the corner of the room. But if I He's... may quote our wonderful Saint Sabbath from Epistles, there are no miracles. There are only men. <laughs> <laughs> you can barely make out that sound over the deafening ring shot of the Emperor's rod as it discharges its fierce <laughs> justice. Um, but it is here <laughs> now. And uh, I think because I said... So I'm going to give them just one round of combat this turn because that's going to be the function of, su of uh, surprise kind of, and they're going to fire their hand cannon at the, the... The subject is the man who kicked in the door and is standing right in their face. Mm. Um, <laughs> and that would be you, brother, Mr. Severus of the Arbitaz. So, these guys... Yeah, have... Compliance with my execution is noted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got to get the 5-0 before it's too late. They're going to show you what, what they think, I guess. Um, so, let's roll a D100... Um, you are right in front of them. Let me see if I, if they get something here. Easy. A surprise. Nope. Massive. Nope. Point blank. There it is. Beautiful, beautiful point blank. Okay. He wants to hurt you for this. Do you, are you getting that feeling? <laughs> uh, uh, the best kind of, the best oh. kind of GMing is the punitive kind. <laughs> yeah. So they only have a ballistic skill of 25, but with that plus 30, it becomes uh, a hit. By quite a bit, right? A point, point blank, point blank range is yeah, two two oh. meters or closer. Yeah, I'm at plus three degrees of success, hit. and I rolled a fifty-five, or I needed a fifty-five. I got a twenty-five. Three degrees of success, right? Correct, correct. Um, you that, protects. That doesn't. You'll see how resilient people are. Like you're, you have armor and stuff, so you'll be okay. You get hit in the chest. So. You get you get one free reaction, Reese. You can roll your evasion, uh, a dodge or parry, depending on the situation. I, I do have skill level two in parry. So I do have to be parrying a hand cannon, cannon shot. Well, but if he's at point blank, that means he's, he's within blank. reach for uh, for that. You son of a bitch. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it, works, it works both ways. Yeah. 
You know, this is... thank you. <laughs> John, 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 and I are both just like twist the fuck. <laughs> just get him. So do do I? What's my modifier, Jeff? For Perry? For is there is there any modifier at this uh, scenario? I don't think so. You guys tell I don't me. Think so. Unless, unless you have, if you have a balanced weapon, you get plus ten. Otherwise, it's just. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> oh shit. There you go. What does that? <laughs> so what does Perry do? You have to describe your. So er, everyone gets one free reaction during your turn, and if you succeed, you avoid all the damage. Oh my so god. So yeah, I think what Jeff is asking is for you to describe, uh, f through role play, how exactly you just parried a hand cannon. So as I kick in the door, shouting Leroy Jenkins, I come in <laughs> full strength. Of Jenkins. Come on. As this as this chump pulls out his gun, I use my shock maul to smack the barrel. He shoots the ceiling to no effect, and now I'm prepared to deliver the Emperor's justice. Uh, you're not. So it's actually Brother Tiberius who's next. But I, you're you're in position. You just blink, and the the shot goes off. By the way, a hand cannon is deafening and scary. It's a, it does it, it's a significant little wad of damage, boosh right into the roof. Uh, and now it's Brother Tiberius's turn. There, there is another bad guy, isn't there, Jeff? I just rolled their initiative. Three, right? They're bullshit. Um, so they're at oh, seven. Oh, sorry. You did separate initiative. I see. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Wrong. Gotcha. Um, who, where, okay, well, where's where's our where's our prisoner at? Uh, he's he's like, just at like... the hand of Severus, who is now in the room fighting the crooks. Okay. Well, uh, I don't want him to get tagged with a stray shot or whatever, so I will probably grab him and drag him out of the building so he doesn't get shot in the fracas. Okay. Um, and then for my action, uh, I will continue to inspire my allies. Um, okay. So I'll make that okay, command. Sick. Okay. Yep. Okay. I got it. Oh, so every yes. everybody gets a plus ten to your next action. Okay. And then next down the roll here, brother Sibir. What does it look like, by the way? We inspire people. What does that? What do we um, get? At? So it's through it's through the loud hailer, um, and I'm I'm just reciting the the great glories of the heroes of the empire. Uh, I'm reminding them that they belong to. Uh, a lineage of of it's like a religious sermon about uh, how great we are and how I those who are faithful those the, who are faithful the, the in the empire. eyes of the empire. Uh, yeah. Tell me about this empire of yours. <laughs> yeah, so like you know, everybody we we're all part of the same family, a family that does what uh, needs doing, and it's it's a part way to in inspire them, but also to uh, to um, like demotivate our enemies. Okay. Um, I, I'm loving the imagery of how fucking obnoxious and loud this group is. Like every time an issue yeah. happens, brother Gaius <laughs> turns around and starts like, "Ah, burn me up, burn! We're good." And Tiberius is like, "Shut, shut, shut it down! Shut it down! You're you're all doing great. You're all <laughs> very good." Um, so you're inspired. It goes down to initiative eight, which is for brother Severus and sister Scythia at the same time. So either one of you, you can just make your attacks. Wait, Please, wait, Space Cop, you, you kicked the door and you should go first, I think. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say ladies first, but uh, I am poised with my shock maul. Mm -hmm. I think I should continue that action. Are you going to swing at the guy that has one leg less or the two other healthy dudes? The Emperor advises preying upon the weak okay. to yes. pull yes. the herd as soon as possible. Plus okay. you have, like I do, I think you have Hammer of the Emperor. Uh, which means you do you do more damage to someone who's already been attacked, essentially. As a good uh, guy should. I'm going to give you... He's not stunned. I'm going to give you a plus 10, because he's pseudo-prone, basically. So You get a plus 10 for me, you get a plus 10 for the inspiration, and then you make your roll. So it's a plus 20 so far. Okay, and it's a standard attack? Uh, yeah, otherwise. Yeah. And then uh, plus 20? Mm-hmm. Nope. Jeez. Wait. Barely. Uh, no, no, that's a hit. That's a hit. That's a hit. That's a hit. God. All right, roll your Just damage. barely. Just barely. Oh, 80 barely. The hit. Yeah, Arbitrator Severus is rather incompetent. I do have to note that. You hit him in the right arm. That's uh, where he holds the pistol if you crit. You get so. to roll, roll damage as usual. What? Nice. It's a uh, 15 impact damage. Um, minus whatever plus. armor he has in his right arm. Yeah, plus his strength. Wow. Uh, yeah, right. That guy's dead. He's So you you <laughs> actually like nice. smash his arm so hard that it just caves in his whole you know shoulder area. And he just, lights turn out. He's just facing the wall, presumably dead. Uh, Sister Scythia. I will follow up and chainsword the last dude. 
two guys are ripped. No, there's two guys. They're they're both oh, yeah, two guys. Three three total. Yeah. Yeah, there's two left. Yeah, sorry. Um uh, are, are, is there anything distinguishing them that that would make me choose they're, one? You, this is an average roll because they they are not prone. They're standing up. They don't have cover or anything like that. They're just going for their uh, their guns. Okay, I think I'll I'll follow through uh, through the destroyed cover that that TB has provided for us. Um, I'll I'll rush ahead with the chainsword and and swipe at the first guy in front of me. Okay. Uh, and I will attack. Not all out, standard. There's not enough room to charge in here, I assume. A no. And then 10, 10 from Adam. Yes. Oh, oh my. Oh, shit. That is a chainsword oh, to the head. That is a head sword, yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, seven that's, degrees that's eight, of success. Eight, eight degrees of success. Uh, uh, eight. Oh, plus the one you get for succeeding, so that's nine, actually. And lo, did the emperor split the skulls of those who did oppose him, <laughs> cleaving from them mind from body, uh, bathing his enemies in viscera. Yeah, you you uh, um, I mean, you did two x more than you needed to. So you you nail the guy's sword. It catches again, and it just <laughs> right his his head just splits open. Not, just a gargle. There's mostly it from the very beginning. He's gone. Just limp noodle on the ground. Yeah. The last crook, having seen his first friend get his leg shot off and then bludgeoned with a shock maul, and then the guy next to him, he's literally covered in the brain matter of his partner next to him. Um, he's cornered. Uh, he's going to take his attack, I guess. I'm, if someone can quickly tell, I don't think there's, is there a leadership thing in this that I should do, or do I just fucking fight this guy to oh, the death? Oh, for like morale? Yeah. Um, I don't remember seeing anything. You can make him make a fear check. Is yeah. it a fear um, Okay, that would work. Uh, yeah. Do you yeah. have that in front of you, Andy? Because I'd love to do that. Because it seems appropriate right now, but I didn't. I don't know. I think to... it's willpower. Is that right? Okay. It, Let's see. It yeah. Will. Yeah. Willpower forty-five. So he's going to make a fear check for what's happening right now. He passes. Okay. Ooh, brave. Somehow. Brave. This he guy retains, he retains control of his mind. Doesn't mean he doesn't run away, but he's in charge. He doesn't get afraid and run. Uh, Scythia having obliterated the guy next to him, he's going to turn his gun to you. Yeah. <laughs> it's a D100 uh, plus the 20 for point blank. Nope. He fails. I will not parry then. And <laughs> so is the faith in the Emperor like unto a shield impenetrable? By the uh, with, so we're almost coming up on a break, but I think this will be pretty quick. It does go to Brother Gaius here who has a clear shot on this guy if he wants to. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> and now he can aim. <laughs> you can aim, too, if you want. Ah, yeah. oh, Brother Fabulous, you, you speak of impenetrable, but when it comes to penetration, I can assure you that the rod of the Emperor knows no peer. And lo, once again did the friar bespake of his dick, and unto all those who would listen, did they hear of it, and it was good. <laughs> um, so you're not inspired anymore because it's the next round of combat, or is he still inspired? It's still it's your next roll. Okay. Yeah. So plus ten, but you're getting nothing from this guy. He's the side is inspiring. To all. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm inspiring you to handle your rod better. But no inspiration is required in that regard. I have 130 years of experience in the handling of the rod of the emperor. <laughs> oh my god. So I would I would take a carefully aimed shot. Right at this so guy. So if you're firing, if you're firing and uh, and aiming, it's only the half aim. Like if you skip yeah. your turn yeah, just to aim. aim. Yeah, so it's half yeah. aim plus the ten bonus from me. Yep, with an accurate weapon. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be if it hits about a million You'll get the points extra of damage. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's see if this thing actually works this time. Half aim, yes. Range, with short short range, not point blank. Standard modifier. Any modifier here for this? Nope. Nope, no modifier. Plus 10 from an inspiration. So that's yeah, plus 10. 10. Yep, 10 for me. Ooh. Oh, dear. You actually Oh, <laughs> What? Your dice are all over the place right now. <laughs> actually I wish, I wish that would have been a mutation. That's you'd amazing. Be, that's, that's a, that's that a is critical what, miss. That's like not just a miss, that's the worst. That right? Yeah. <laughs> that's so what, what I'm always gonna, feels wrong. I'm going to have you roll a 1d3 uh, okay. Tiberius 1. Sometimes. The rod of the emperor fires before the Sith act is two, finished. Scythia three. So roll a d three. Oh shit! 
And lo, oh, no. the emperor, it doth happen to yeah. everyone. One you know single. Wait, 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 wait. Don't roll it. D4. The fourth one is your captor, actually. Which Tiberius is holding. Oh, nice. oh no. Nice. Oh, dear. I, I just say dragged him out of the room, but you're firing I mean, this does seem like the sort of situation where I just fate point the fuck out of that and not let you do this. You can yeah. reroll. Yes. Rather uh, than, you know, shooting one of our teammates in the back of the head with a sniper rifle. Unless unless there's some kind of rule for, like, actually rule for critical failures um, that prevent that, because sometimes that happens, but I don't think that there is. Uh, not that I know of. We're just jumping uh, the gun at this. There might, this might be completely hacked, but um, we're doing it. You, you I like it. I, it's, uh, yeah, well, the 100, it. for fuck's yeah. sake. Yeah, it's, yeah, whatever. Yeah. There's, there's nothing in the rule book that said critical failure. Anyway. Yeah, that's what I was looking forward to. Just yeah. in the book of Jeff. <laughs> are you forcing me not to fate point this then i'm not forcing you You can i just think it'd be fun so you know it would be fun to shoot someone in the back of the head with a sniper rifle accidentally we gotta hurry we gotta go on break in a second here so right i you can have your 1d4 then i know you're just <laughs> mad that we're beating everything so not, i think this is funny there's your one who is the one uh i was the fuck should i know you're the gm <laughs> Uh, I think that's Severus. So four no, was the captor. No, it's not. <laughs> four was the captor. Three was Tiberius. Two three, was three was me. Three was Scythia. Chat will tell me. I forgot. Chat, who was it? Real quick, we gotta go on break in a second. You gotta tell me. So there is there is a uh, there is a rule for jamming weapons. Um, but I will I will figure out what that does. My weapons it's reliable. Damn it. I think it is oh, no no yeah it, this bypass is reliable because you rolled a one hundred. Thank you. Uh, it says it, it only jams on a 100. Oh, well, if that is a bit jammed, then nothing well, shot, right? I made this up, you guys. It's totally fine. I'm, I'm really okay with rolling a 100 and you hit one of your own teammates on a critical field shot. So <laughs> we're going yeah, to go, we're gonna go to break. When we come back, we're going to find out who the uh, brother Gaius has shot. Well, we know it's, it's, it's Severus. We're going to roll for damage when we come back um, after this quick break. And if you're on YouTube, make sure and uh, not get fucked. One is actually the GM. Ha, 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 ha.